This 82.5 MW turbine rotor which has been manufactured by Iran Power Plant Repairs Company has saved the country over 550 billion riles, about $13 million, since for importing the mentioned rotor nearly 900 billion riles, about $21.4 million, had to be spent, while the production cost has been reported to be only 350 billion riles, about $8.3 million. Earlier in March, the managing director of Iran's MAPNA Group, which is the first and leading West Asia-based general contractor of thermal power plants in the MENA region, said that Iran was going to become an exporter of new classes of gas turbines in near future. Speaking on the sidelines of the signing ceremony of a deal for manufacturing an MGT-75 gas turbine for Iran's thermal power plant holding, TPPH, on March 14, Abbas Ali Abadi said. Iran now has the knowledge and technology to design and manufacture a variety of new gas turbines on a global scale. We will present this turbine MGT-75 in the global market soon, and it will undoubtedly be well received," Ali Abadi added. Mentioning some of the significant features of the mentioned turbine, the official said that the power plants that use these new turbines will have very low water consumption, so that the water consumption in such power plants would be reduced to one-tenth. According to the official, the new turbines can also use hydrogen as an alternative fuel in the regions where pollution is an issue. This product is made completely inside the country using local knowledge and technology, and it is definitely cheaper than foreign models," Ali Abadi said. He further noted that the MGT-75 turbine has been designed according to the requirements of the country's power network and can be used for the development of the network in the future. The MGT-75 turbine has improved efficiency by 60% over the previous designs and increased output capacity to 220 megawatts, he noted. This turbine will impose the least fluctuation on the electricity network while improving the efficiency of the country's thermal power plants, according to the head of MAPNA Group. As Iran's top engineering and energy enterprise, MAPNA had previously manufactured E-class and F-class turbines such as MGT-70. The mentioned turbines have been used in domestic power stations as well as major power projects in neighboring countries like Iraqi. Iran used to import such pieces of equipment from foreign sources such as Germany's Siemens. And now enjoying such technology, the country is among the world's top manufacturers of power plants with high efficiency. Last years, the German industrial giant Siemens is planning to help Iran launch F-class power plants, providing 5 gigawatts GW, of electricity to boost the country's electricity production. The 2.2 billion euros, 2.44 billion dollars, project, which is run by Siemens and MAPNA Group, Iran's largest power plant EPC contractor, will cover eight major cities across the Caspian country. It comes amidst the U.S. having piled on tough sanctions on Iran ever since President Donald Trump announced the U.S.'s withdrawal from the nuclear deal in May 2018. The first facility of this kind, Hengam Power Plant, is expected to come online in Iran's southern province of Hormozgan in February 2020. The project's director, Alariza Nasrallahi, said the installation of gas turbine engines at the plant would cost nearly 500 million euros, $557 million. The launch of the first phase of Hengam Power Plant, a gas-fired unit with a capacity of 307 megawatts, MW, will mark the first time a government-run power plant in Iran is using F-class gas turbines, Press TV quoted Nasrallahi as saying on December 14. The plant's second unit will be commissioned by next summer, expanding capacity up to 600 megawatts, which is sufficient to supply electricity to 150,000 houses. The F-class gas turbines for the power station were delivered in September 2016 and November 2017. Iran is also slated to purchase 20 German-made gas turbines as well as related machinery and equipment. 
Considered one of the most widely used power generating technologies, gas turbines are a type of internal combustion engine in which the burning of an air and fuel mixture produces hot gases that spin a turbine to produce power. Gas turbines can utilize a variety of fuels, including natural gas, fuel oils and synthetic fuels. With a population of nearly 82 million, Iran's total power generation capacity stood at 80,000 MW in the past Iranian calendar year, increasing by 1.8% compared to the previous year. Today, combined cycle power plants account for the biggest share in the country's total power generation capacity, nearly 31%, and are followed by gas power plants at 30%. Officials in Tehran are trying to expand the country's energy output. Earlier this year the Energy Ministry announced its intent to launch 22 new power plant units with a total capacity of 3,933 megawatts and upgrade existing ones. Meanwhile Iran and its European partners have been facing tough challenges since 2017, when the Trump administration released the Countering American Adversaries Through Sanctions Act, which threatens to impose sanctions on any country engaged in a significant transaction with Iran. Siemens, which has been a major contributor to Iran's infrastructure projects over the past decades, has also downsized many of its projects in Iran. In 2018, representatives said it would take appropriate steps to bring business activities in Iran in line with the changing multilateral situation. Officials in Iran, however, claim that the Munich-based company continues to cooperate with Iran in terms of contracts on the transfer of technology and hailed Siemens's commitment to joint venture schemes, saying it is a sign the company is keen to resume its activities in Iran once sanctions are lifted. In the MAX 2019, the private sector knowledge-based firm attending an airshow near Moscow signed the contract with a Russian company to export mini-jet engines. Russian companies have shown interest in buying Iranian mini-jet engines, widely used in the pilotless aircraft. According to the contract, the Iranian and Russian companies will also work on joint production, which would help enhance the Islamic Republic's exchange of technical know-how and business ties with foreign sides. MAX 2019 held at Zhukovsky International Airport near Moscow, is a biennial airshow that opened on Tuesday. Five Iranian exhibitors have taken part in MAX 2019, including Iran's embassy in Moscow, the Iran Air Show, the International Affairs and Technological Exchange Center of the Vice Presidency for Science and Technology Affairs, Aeropub, Bara Aerospace, and Aerospina. On the first day of the airshow, Iran unveiled a homegrown cruise missile, dubbed Mabin. The Iranian cruise missile has a range of 450 kilometers, weighs 670 kilograms, and can reach an altitude of 45,000 feet. Mabin is a radar evading missile with a small cross-sectional area that can reach a velocity of 900 k per hour. It can carry warheads as heavy as 120 kilograms, 